Hello guys, how are you doing? Trust you are doing awesome. Today, I want to show you how I want to walk you around on how to create uh, this gospel all night visual flyer design using a pixel lab application. Shout out to Kennedy Chaponda who says he is watching us right from Zambia. Thank you so much for the love. We really appreciate it. And if you are coming across our channel for the very first time, please hit that subscription button, turn on the notification bell, just so you don't miss any of our design tips and tutorials. To all our returning subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate the love and support. Also feel free to drop us a comment telling us wherever you are watching and a tutorial that you would love us to bring up and we'll do that just for you. Now. Let's get started with our design. So I will delete this text and start preparing my background. So right away I'm clicking on background setting here and I'm clicking to on open from gallery. So I want to work this, extract this background from my photo gallery. I'm looking for the background that I recently downloaded. I want to use it for my background. Oh my god where is that file where is that file guys just be patient i will get that file with me here in a while so i want to use this background for our design and the size for the design is a square size a one is one size so i would love to crop it this way then i click on the check mark to proceed once I have my background looking this way I'm also going to bring in another uh, element for the background so I'll click here and import another background so I have this other uh, praise and worship element with me here i'm just going to size it up to fit on our design so i think i have to crop it further then you can place it here and go to opacity and reduce the opacity considerably just to about 20 then go to the layer button and lock it up so we're going to lock this up and this is our background for this design so as you can see there is a lot of light around this uh, portion of the background so it won't be really uh, professional for us to write our text or for our text to occupy this section of the background rather we would love to write on this other end this left end of the design where there is some uh, darkness okay so that your text can really show but then I would love to to create a, a blur effect that will help to make this more darker for us to write on it so follow me along as I do this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you're not left out when we drop other jaw-breaking uh, tutorials so I will click on shapes then I choose this square, I make it look this way and I position it like this just position it this way then you go to gradient and you click on the plus button to set your gradient then we are going to work out this white color okay so just click here and here so let's go then you can reduce the opacity of this completely after reducing the opacity just click ok and click ok to continue ok so let's check we have to change the orientation ok so one a, a, a situation where it will be a, a, a horizontal uh, a horizontal setting because this is actually uh, a vertical so we'll check up here for a horizontal pattern these are the various gradient patterns We'll check for a horizontal pattern this one okay this first one just select this first one then 
you swap this you just click on this button to swap the colors click here so that the black can come to the left of the design and you can click ok and uh, just spread it on the screen in this way okay good then you click on the check mark to continue now go to color and give it a black color completely so as you can see part of our background is now very much darker then you can send it to back so it should fall to back good so that we have something like this now go to layer and lock it up after logging it up go to text but before you go to text let's import the logo of the church so that is exactly where we want to start our design by importing the church logo so i always love to use this logo for my uh, this church for my tutorial i don't know if it's your church but please it's just for the sake of this tutorial so it's uh, the shana city church and i want to make sure that it's on the middle of my design and i can push it up a little and leave it that way now we're going to write presents double tap tack tack to write presents we write presents good now uh for the color of this text i want us to sample the color from the logo from the church logo so we are going to click on the color then you click on the plus button and uh, once you click on the plus button just click here on the color button to sample the color from the church logo so we are going to click on the layer uh, hold hosting the church logo then we are going to sample this blue uh, this um, yellow sorry so you just want to sample this yellow because we want everything to actually uh, be in uniform now you go to fonts and uh, the font we want to use for this is a script font called the Amsterdam one EZ12L font so this font is freely available on the font you can go ahead and download it so we're choosing the Amsterdam one Z for now you're going to reduce the size of this considerably then tap on relative position to tap it to the middle so presents now let's write the team of the uh, the program so we start by writing gospel in capital letters then you go to your font let's leave the color to be white go to your font and give it the Roxford Sands light font so we are using the Roxford Sands for this just reduce the size a little then tap it relative position to make sure that it's on the middle and shift it a little bit should be down a little so we have gospel the next the next thing we are going to write is all night then want to go to fonts and down and uh, give it a single decorative bold single decorative font okay so this one single decorative so have all night but then i want to increase this to make it uh, stand out so you can use relative position again good and uh, we're going to copy this and write vigil vigil but then we can even make this to be script so let's leave it in small letters but for the beginning vigil Then we're going to give it that same script font and the Amsterdam one font. So have region. Then you can push this up a little to stand this way. Good. So after having this, we are going to bring in a light effect. So just click on stickers. Click on stickers. And as you click on sticker, just 
search along until where you have this awesome light effects so i just want us to choose to choose this then you just tap your finger to the screen and we have this light effect with us here then you can compress it this way and position it beneath this this text and you can use little position to tack it to the middle so we are good with that and the next thing we want to write now is the the program the theme of the program so we are going to copy this but okay, okay so let's just go for another script one so i'm just going to type team and i use the same color the yellow color then go to font and give it another script font let's try taken by watcher i think it worked so we can increase the size to see what we are doing but then we have some problem with paddling so we are going to click on paddling here increase the left and right paddling considerably and bring it up this way now we're going to copy this text that we tap to write so the theme is the watchman of my home so the theme of this night vg is the watchman the watchman of my home so we want to reduce the size of this further watchman of my home then it's uh it's a biblical quotation so it's taken from ezekiel 3 verse 17 the watchman of my home so this is a since this is an all night service program it's just but okay to go with teams that reflect uh the the, the purpose of the program so i'm going to leave this here ezekiel 3 verse 17 great now let's bring in the date and the time so we are going to import uh, first of all this time icon then you go to eraser click on eraser to remove the background so guys this is a simple way of removing the background of elements that are white so we are going to give it we are going to give it the yellow color Then you reduce the size considerably and leave it this way. And let's go and import the the date icon. Reduce, remove the color. So after I, I rem, import this to your design, go to erase color to remove the background. So just enable it. Increase the tolerance a bit. Then you come to color and give it the same yellow color. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thank you so much. So we're going to reduce the size of this to about five or let's say just four four is okay then you plumb it here on this margin now we're going to copy this and write the day so the day is on sunday let's first of all write sunday bring it here then uh, go to size and reduce it to just about 17 now copy this once again double tap to write so it's 23rd it's only the 23rd so let's bring this down here it's only the 23rd then let's copy the Sunday. Just go to a layer and copy this Sunday. So I'm going to click here, and after clicking there, just click on copy, and it will copy. Then double tap to edit, tap tap to edit and write April. So it's April. 
but then it should be in capital letters then it, it rotated by error so let's go and undo the rotation then you come down to position sorry i'm too fast sorry about that so let's click on position and move it gradually down here so let's try to plumb it up with this now let's click back on it and as you click on it go to spacing and space it out such that it meets up with the date great so that we have something like this so we have sunday 23rd april and as you can see it's very far from this logo so all we're going to do is to go to layer go to layer then you click on this select button and select the sunday 23rd and april after selecting them click here to move them all together at once then you can click on this position tool to move them gradually together so that they plumb well with uh, the time logo great so next we are going to bring this time icon let's first of all give it a size of four or so then we push it closer just for the sake of alignment but then i think the size should just remain at three the three is too small so let's click and give it a size of four great then you can position it carefully here just make sure that everything is plumped up and aligned so we're going to copy 23rd now double tap to write the time so it's from 10 p.m so the all night visual program will begin by 10 p.m let's click and increase the size guys so let's increase the size to about 13 so 10 p.m then you can copy this april and write 10 p.m to so we're going to write to 6 a.m and it should be all in capital letters then you can bring this down this way then go to spacing just make sure that you are on spacing let's reduce the spacing a bit to just about 10 it's fine so have 6 10 p.m to 6 a.m good so uh the next thing we want to do is to bring in the whatsapp or the social media social media handles that can permit worshipers to follow this program online so i'm going to bring in uh, the social media handles guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are not left out whenever we bring contents that are awesome to you thank you so much for doing so so i have my social media icons with me here i'm just going to crop out the twitter and instagram plus the twitter handles and as usual i'm going to go to erase color to remove the background of this so sometimes it's easier to remove backgrounds of elements that are white let's increase the tolerance a bit then you can click ok further reduce the size considerably then go to color and give it the yellow color let's check the size further it should just be about 10 then go to position we're going to bring this down a little okay good okay so but before that guys let's let's just leave this here let's first of all write the address so let's copy this text once again 
and write the address so it's happening at Shana City Church so this is happening at Shana City Church we are going to position this here Shana City Church then copy click on the Sunday copy it to write the location so it's New Avenue three four two Florida so it's West Avenue sorry West Avenue but by the way these locations are always provided for you by the church so I'm just going to place this here beneath this such that we have Shana City Church West Avenue 342 Florida so we're going to bring the logo now closed so that worshippers can follow online they can do so so we're going to copy this double tack 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 to write we're going to write at Shana City Church so this address is for people who want to follow on Twitter on Instagram or Facebook they can go live and follow the program here now it's also necessary to include uh, some telephone details and uh, some mail or a uh, website handles okay so we're going to do that quickly and the first thing we want to do is to copy this text double tap to write the phone number so it's going to be just plus four four five six three four two one three eight so this is just a random number please don't try calling it we're just using it for the purpose of this tutorial so we're going to leave this here then uh, the next thing we want to do is to go to shapes so just go to shapes here choose a square and uh, we just want to create a line something that looks much like a line a small line or a small curtain good then you can go to layer click on it to arrange it well great now let's copy this and write the email address so at uh, info info at Shana City Church. So this is like a mail address for them for inquiries for in further information concerning this all night uh, gospel all night program. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell to be informed whenever we put new content. So we're going to go now to layer again then we click here to copy this text so we're going to copy this shape sorry then we use our posi relative position first of all to move the shape faster then use position to bring it down then you can place it here make sure that it's plumbed well with the first uh, shape that we had so we just still need some little arrangements you have to make sure that everything is aligned otherwise you can always use your grid to do this okay sorry about so you can always use your grid to work all of this 
but for the purpose of time i don't really want this tutorial to be that much lengthy so that's why we are just rushing over this but then let's copy this text once again and write the web address so uh, it's just going to be www dot china city church dot com so this is a, a website for them as well so we are going to leave this this way awesome so with this guys we are done with our gospel all night video program design using a pixel lab application i believe we've all learned one or two things please if you are yet to subscribe to the channel hit the notification hit the subscription button now and turn on the notification bell so that you will be informed anytime we bring contents like this and to all our returning subscribers thank you so much for the love i really appreciate god bless you